Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of one variable equations and inequalities, specifically how we can solve them, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a very simple equation up here on the left, negative 47 equals negative 28 plus x. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to isolate the variable. You might have heard that phrase before. Our variable is our unknown. So in this case, it's going to be the x. That's the number we do not know the value for. We need to isolate it or we need to get it by itself. Right now, it's on the same side of the equation as the negative 28. So in order to isolate this variable, we're going to use various properties of equality. Now, take a look at what's on the same side of the equation. We have a negative 28 or minus 28. So you're always thinking of the inverse. You can always use the inverse property of equality to isolate the variable. The inverse simply means the opposite. So in this case, we have a negative 28 or minus 28 sticking on the same side of the equation as this variable. We need to get rid of it. So the inverse or the opposite of negative 28 is going to be positive 28 or adding 28. So we are going to use the addition property of equality. And what that says is that you can add the same amount to both sides of an equation and it will remain equal or balanced. And so this negative 28 plus 28, well, that is going to just cancel out. And we're going to get just an x over here. Now, this side over here is going to be a little bit more tricky. We've got negative 47 plus 28. And so what we need to do is we are going to flip it real quick. If you think about it on a number line, so let's say our zero is here. Our negative 47 is way far to the left. And even if we add our positive 28, that is not going to get us all the way to zero. We're still going to end up with a negative something because 28 is smaller than 47. How much closer to zero is it going to get? Well, let's go ahead and flip it, and let's just pretend we're not looking at our positive and negative signs right now. We're going to start at 47, and I'm going to go ahead and take away 28 because I'm getting closer to zero here. And let's see what this is going to be. That's going to be 19. Now, this is going to be negative 19. So it looks like it's going to be negative 19 is going to equal x. And if we're not sure about whether this is actually our answer, you can always plug your negative 19 back up to, into the original equation. Does negative 47 equal negative 28 plus, and then our x is negative 19? Well, let's add negative 28, negative 19, and it looks like you are going to get correct, negative 47. Now let's look at an example using geometry. Another type of inequality you might need to solve would be a basic geometry one. In this case, we have the area of the square. It is less than 45 inches. It's not equal to, it's less than. That makes it an inequality. So if we look at our basic equation for how we find the area, we know that A equals the base times height. So let's start plugging in our numbers. 45 inches squared. We know our base is our unknown, and our height in this case is going to be the 6 inches. Now, I'm going to take the equal sign and I'm going to use the inequality sign. Now, I flipped it because I took this 45 and I put it on the left side of the inequality. Notice that the opening is still going to the 45, and that's how you know it's still going in the right way. Whenever you flip inequalities, you're going to have to flip the sign. So let's clean this up a little bit. Let's just say 45 is greater than 6b. I'm just going to use the community property to switch these two and get rid of our units. So we're going to use the division property of equality, divide both sides by 6. So we're going to say 45 divided by 6, that's going to be 7. And that's going to be 7 and 3, 6, or 7 and a half. So 7.5, 7 and a half, is going to be greater than our b. Or if we want to look at it the right way, let's go ahead and flip that. b, our base, is going to have to be less than 7.5. See, I switched sides and I flipped the equation. So that is how you can use the division property of equality to find a missing side for an inequality regarding the area of a rectangle. 